formation of female gametes gynoecium consists of single pistil is called as monocarpillary or double called as double carpillary or if more pistils are there then it is called as multicarpillary sometimes when there is more than one pistil is there they may fuse together it is called as syncarpus or free are called as apocarpus the pistil has three parts ovary style and stigma the stigma stands as landing platform for pollen grain the style is the elongated slender part beneath the stigma the basal bulged part of the pistil is the ovary inside the ovary is the ovarian cavity locule the placenta is located inside the ovarian cavity megasporangium together with its two protective coats the integuments is called ovule it is attached to the placenta on the inner wall of the ovary by a stalk called funiculus an ovule that is ready for fertilization consists of nuclear tissue enveloped almost completely by one or two integuments leaving a small opening at the apical end this opening called micropyle which is the main passage for the entry if the pollen grains into the ovule in the nucleus has the female gametophyte that is called as embryo sac ontogenetically an ovule arises as a small mound of homogeneous tissue on the placenta at this stage the ovule looks orthotropous integuments arise close to the base of the tissue which forms the nucleus in a mature ovule cells of the nucleus have abundant reserve of food materials female gametophyte the female gametophyte also called embryo sac is mostly a seven celled structure there is a large central cell with two polar nuclei which later fuse to form the secondary nucleus The micropylar end of the central cell is occupied by the egg apparatus comprising an egg cell and two synergids and at its calazel its end three antipodal cells are present cells of the egg apparatus and the antipodal cells are uninucleate and haploid whereas the central cell is binucleate or diploid This mode of embryo sac development occurs in the majority of the flowering plants and is designated as the polygamous type. Megasporogenesis. Megaspore mother cell is also called megasporocyte. They undergoes meiosis to form four haploid megaspores where a wall is present. after the first meiotic division laid down transversely forming a dyad similarly the second division in the two dyad cells is transverse in this way a linear tetrad of megaspore is formed when both the meiotic divisions are followed by wall formation only one of the four megaspores functions and forms the female gametophyte the other three megaspores degenerate generally it is the calazel megaspore of the tetrad that is functional this method of embryo sac formation from a single megaspore is termed monosporic development